month, you attempted to speak with Hillary Clinton after she addressed a town hall in Manchester, New Hampshire. You asked her if she would release the transcripts of her paid speeches to Goldman Sachs. She laughed and turned away. I want to go to that clip. Hi, Secretary Clinton, will you release a transcript of your paid speeches to Goldman Sachs? Uh, no, there's a lot of controversy over the speeches. Secretary. Is that a no? Se Secretary Clinton, will you release a transcript of your Goldman Sachs speeches? Yes. So, Lee Fong, explain what happened and why you're raising this issue of what she was paid to make a speech or speeches at Goldman Sachs. Well, I mean, since 2001, uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton have earned over $115 million on the, sp the speaker circuit, uh, going out to private corporations, foundations, special interest groups, and charging um, as much as $200,000, $300,000 uh, per speech. I mean, it's, this is really unprecedented. Uh, in American history, that you have uh, the leading candidate of, of a major party uh, enriching themselves personally from special interest groups that have been lobbying them and will be lobbying them uh, if they uh, do win the White House. So there's been a lot of talk about, you know, what these speeches actually entailed. And Hillary Clinton has defended herself, saying that, you know, she's basically giving a boilerplate speech. She wants to uh, have more education and more conversations, and this is healthy for our democracy. On the other hand, uh, there have been reports that when Hillary Clinton has gone to some uh, special interest groups, for example, she gave three speeches to Goldman Sachs, making over uh, $600,000 from that one investment bank, uh, that she gave a very specially tailored uh, uh, message, saying that she's against all of this anti-bank populism. Uh, according to Politico, uh, she reassured the bankers that she wouldn't be taking the line of uh, Elizabeth Warren or o Obama, uh, uh, really criticizing the big banks. And so it's, this is um, a, a big issue. I because, want to get Ellen again, Chesler, this, a Hillary Clinton respect, supporter, to I mean, respond. I mean, actually was at one of those Goldman Sachs speeches, and it was about foreign policy, completely about foreign policy. And the entire uh, uh, fee for the speaking went to support the Clinton Foundation. And this raises a big question, in my view. I mean, I think America needs to do a little bit better by its ex-presidents, because we've put them in a situation, and President Obama is going to be in the same situation, where in order to support uh, unless they're individually wealthy themselves, which is very rare, uh, in order to support their lives after uh, being in office. I mean, these offices no longer allow you to kind of fade away uh, to the Supreme Court, or as has been in the past. But you said or the money goes to the president. foundation, not so to the them. money supported the foundation, almost all of it. I don't know exactly um, the numbers because I'm not inside. Uh, well, Lee Fong, what that. about that? But, so that I mean, you know, again. It, it, well, let me ask. We only have 30 uh, seconds. Uh, 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 Lee Fong, your response to that? I believe the, the Clintons have said some of the money has gone to the foundation, but Most uh, the vast it. majority of it has personally enriched them. They've, you know, released their personal ethics disclosures, and the, it's, it's clear that the Clintons have made a lot of money, uh, tens of millions of dollars, as I mentioned, uh, earning over $115 million from uh, the, the speaker circuit uh, over the last 16 years. And then they've um, given th it to the foundation. This is truly unprecedented. Then well, we're going to have to leave it there, but we'll continue to explore this, of course. Uh, Lee Fong with The Intercept, Ellen Chesler with Roosevelt Institute, and thanks also to John Nichols from The Nation. This is Democracy Now! Uh, we will be covering New Hampshire. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks for joining us.